A submarine, or sub for short, is a vessel or ship that can go underwater. But how do they do that? Well, for a submarine to stay underwater, a submarine has special compartments called ballasts. And when the sub wants to sink, will these huge ballast or tanks fill up with water? And this is because as it fills up with water, it gets heavier and will sink. But when the submarine needs to rise, well, the water in the ballast is let out, which makes it lighter. On the back of the submarine is a propeller, and this makes the submarine move at different speeds. And submarines can dive easily to depths of thousands of feet deep in the water. And the way a submarine is made makes it easy for it to dive like other aquatic animals that you might be familiar with. In fact, a submarine has gone 35,813 feet underwater. The outer shell of submarines must be made with great care and precision because when submarines go deep into the ocean, the water puts a lot of pressure on them. If the outer shell of the submarine is not made with care, it will not be able to handle that pressure. And depending on how much food, oxygen, and other supplies submarines have, well, they can stay underwater for a very long time. And this means that if a submarine has enough supplies for four months, well, it can stay underwater for, you guessed it, four months. So what are submarines used for? Dude, uh, isn't this whole video about learning what submarines do? So why are you asking the question now? Oh, that's right, because there's still more to tell. So, let's keep going, right? Let's go down like a submarine. Uh... During a war, submarines are used to patrol the ocean and attack enemy ships. And submarines used by the military are usually very big. They have weapons like missiles and torpedoes on board. And submarines can carry more than 100 people now, which is a pretty big difference to the earliest submarines that could actually only hold one or two people. David Bushnell, an American inventor, made a submarine that he used during the American Revolutionary War in the year 1776. In 1800, the famous American inventor Robert Fulton built the Nautilus and it was a small submarine that could put explosives on ships. But the first submarine was built by a Dutch inventor named Cornelius Drebbel in the year 1620. That's over 400 years ago. Whoa! And this was a leather-covered rowboat that could reach a depth of 15 feet deep. Submarines are used for other things than just in times of war. Most of the time, scientists and explorers use smaller submarines. And submarines are helpful for studying ocean depths that divers cannot reach. When a submarine is under the water, no one can see where it's going. And this is because there's no windows or any other glass surfaces that you can see through. And sonar is what submarines use to find their way through the deep, dark ocean. The sonar equipment sends out a sound wave that bounces off of things in the area. And this return signal will tell the crew how far away things are and also in what direction. Some submarines do have glass windows for underwater viewing. But these are tourist submarines that do not dive as deep as military or scientific submarines. Well, hey, guess what? Now we all know just a little bit more about submarines. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. It really helps out our channel. It sure does. Make sure you subscribe. Bye. Bye.